In this video, I'm going to do some similar adjustments to the accelerator. I'm going to adjust the parameters uh, that affect the um, electron beam energy. Uh, and in this, in this case, I'm going to adjust the cholesterol pulse voltage, uh, um, which will affect the, the output RF power of the, of the cholesterol. So this is different than adjusting the input RF power, because now we're adjusting the, the, the pulse, which, which directly accelerates the, the electrons through the cholesterol. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, I've reset our, our the accelerator back to the 15 MV beam, we, and I've reset the base parameters uh, for the RF driver, the cholesterol voltage, uh, and the bending magnet. And I'm now going to explore what happens when we change the cholesterol pulse voltage. I'm going to lower it first from 125 to 118 kilovolts, and then I'm going to uh, sweep it back through over 125 kilovolts, and we'll see the change. So I'm going to drop this now from 125 kilovolts down to 118. And we're going to, when we do this, we're going to watch what's happening to our dose rate. It's going to go from 345 down to 0.96 centigrade per minute. So basically a very small dose rate. And that's because we have a very low um, uh, target current. And that's because we have a very low um, RF power coming from the cholesterol, which is only producing... 13.23 MeV electrons, whereas we're, the bending magnet is letting uh, 15 MeV electrons go through. So now if we go back and we increase this again, so if I'm going to go from 118, I'll go back up to 120. And we're going to watch our <coughs> dose rates can come up again, 22 centigrade per minute. We have 13.7 MeV, which is increasing toward closer to, to 15. We have an increased uh, uh, beam current. I'm going to now go to say 120. 122. Now we've got a, a rapid increase in dose rate, 120, 23 centigrade per minute. Our energy is now 14.16 MeV, which is getting close to the 15. So our dose rate has increased. I'm now going to increase again. Let's go to say 123. Now we're going up to 204 centigrade per minute. Our energy has increased quite a bit. 14.3 uh, MeV, which is closer to our 15, and then uh, which is going to give us a high dose rate. Now let's go to 124. For the cholesterol pulse voltage, now we're at 284, 14.55 MeV, uh, and then uh, which, which is getting closer to 15. Let's go to now 125, which is our starting point. So then we get back to our original starting point. We have 14.73 MeV electron beam from the accelerator. If we go to 126, now we have 14.9 MeV. We have a dose rate of 375.9, which is getting quite high. If I go to 127, we're going, we now have a, we've gone past 15 MeV, so now our dose rate is 375. And what, we'll, what we should expect now is that as we increase the cholesterol pulse voltage, our energy, because now we have more our power coming from the cholesterol into the accelerator, we can, now make a, we can now make a higher energy beam. So we're going to have a decreasing dose rate again because our energy now is going to be too high. So if we do this again, so we go now to say 128, our energy goes to 15.21, which is higher than what the bending magnet is allowing to go through, and our dose rate is beginning to drop. It's now down to 350. <clears throat> if I go to 129, we now have, have, have a dose rate of 310, and that's because our energy has getting got, gotten too high. And I can just keep on going, so I'll go to 130, and we see a decreased dose rate, higher energy. I can go to 132. Energy is now much higher than 15. Our beam current is dropping again, and our dose rate is dropping off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset the uh, uh, cholesterol voltage for 122 uh, kV, and I'm now going to adjust the bending magnet like we did before to see if I can regain the, the, the high dose rate. So I'm going to go down from 131 down to 122 on the cholesterol pulse voltage, and if we, we now have a energy of 14.16 MeV. Our dose rate is 123. Uh, and, that, and, and, that, and that's because we have a lower beam current on the target. So I'm going to decrease the cholesterol, uh, excuse me, the bending magnet current. I'll go down to 150. We have now a higher dose rate, 288. That's because we're, we're allowing more electrons to get through to the, to the, to the target. Uh, there are, we've, we've dropped the, the energy of the path through bending magnet. 
I'm going to now drop this again. Let's go to 145. So now we have a pass through energy of 14. We have a dose rate of 293 uh, uh, centimeter per minute. Uh, and, uh, and so, so, but now we see that our energy of the electrons getting to the target is lower now than what the, elect the accelerator electron energy is. And so we see that if we keep on decreasing the bending magnet current, what, we, what should happen is we'll have a decrease in dose rate because now we're looking for an even lower energy to go through the bending magnet. So when I hit enter now, our dose rate will drop off even further. Uh, and that's because our bending magnet now is, is only allowing uh, electrons of 13.5 MeV through, which is lower than the accelerator set energy of 14.16, which is what happens uh, because uh, of the of the reduced cholesterol pulse voltage. So this is a similar uh, scenario as last time when we just adjusted the RF driver to the cholesterol. So what we're what we've done is by adjusting the RF power, we changed the electron beam energy coming from the accelerator, uh, which changes our the amount of <clears throat> the the amount of electrons which strikes the target. Do because the because the without changing the bending magnet to compensate for that, we will have a reduced um, uh, target current, which affects our dose rate. So what we'll do in the next uh, lecture is where we will explore a similar effect where, whereas we're going to, in this case, we're going to leave the RF power constant and we're going to change the amount of electrons going into the accelerator and we're going to see the, what, what effect that has on the dose rate for the accelerator.